Hello everybody, welcome back to another War Thunder dev blog, and today it's on the M109 Artillery. So, this thing is coming in spades in the upcoming update. It is everywhere. The M109 is an American Cold War era SPH that's self-propelled howitzer. Developed during the early 1950s as a replacement for outdated post-war designs, the anticipated M109 will arrive to War Thunder as a part of the upcoming Kings of Battle major update. So, it features, as you'd expect, powerful gun, good mobility, high caliber MG, but bad armor, and a slow rate of fire. So this is the counter to the Russian artilleries that have been added in recent with the 2S3M and the 2S1. Um, and, well, it's good because the ally, well not the allies, but you know, the NATO countries didn't really have their own artillery equivalent. Japan had one. France had one, but no one really played the French one. But now it's time for the US, Britain, Germany, Italy, is and Israel to get their own version of this. So, meet the M109. Now, I've got to admit, it looks a little goofy. At least the one with a short barrel. Because there's two major versions, and we'll get that into that soon. Coming to War Thunder as part of the major update, the M109 will reinforce the mid-ranks of not just the American, but other nations' ground forces trees as well was a truly powerful new addition. Representing the first self-propelled howitzer design for some of the trees it will appear in, the M109 will not only sport devastating firepower, but also decent mobility, thus making it a highly versatile predator. So, yeah, goofy looking. Look at that barrel. What is that? That's hideous. <laughs> it just looks goofy. Developers comment. It will arrive in several nation-specific variants, the German, Italian, as well as Israeli ground forces will receive base models of the self-propelled howitzer equipped, equipped with the standard L23 cannon, whereas the 109G represents the German and Italian variants, which are additionally equipped with smoke launchers. The American and British will, however, gain access to the modernized version, the M109A1, with the much longer, less goofy-looking cannon, which you see in this video here. Representing the upgraded version, the M109A1's M901's <laughs> A1's can oh that does not read off roll off the tongue particularly well. M901A1 cannon features a higher muzzle velocity, thus making it making target acquisition a much easier process. Unaffected by this is the cannon's sheer destructive power, firing 43 kilo shells, containing over nearly seven kilos of TMT in the immediate obliteration of any lightly armoured vehicle, pretty much just any vehicle really, with a good shot. For more heavily armoured targets you'll need to aim more precisely, well there you go. A task for which the aforementioned cannon's excellent ballistics should come in handy for. That's great. I don't actually know how the artillery tank to work in this game. Um, is it just a lot of range finding involved? I'm not sure. The M M109... wait... Oh, the gun's called the M901, but it's called the M109A1 there. I'm so confused. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Also come with a 50 cal machine gun, except for the German version, unlucky. Oh, they get the standard MG3, okay. On the commander's hatch, which can be both serve as a rangefinder method, but more importantly, will also help to protect you against enemy aircraft. Well, I can't imagine this thing is well armoured, so there you go. The decisive role of artillery on the battlefield is recognized by military experts of different nations. In the territory of the former USSR, the expression of the expression artillery is the god of war is widely known, while in American military, artillery is called the king of battle. I didn't know that, but here we go. Speaking of protection, the M109 is only lightly protected. Fair enough. Encased in 31.7mm thick sheets of aluminium alloy, which is, uh, well, it's not going to stop a lot, let's just say that. However, if you're daring enough, you can still use this SPH as an effective support vehicle. Well, yeah, otherwise you have to be sitting at the back of the map for the entire game. It does look cool with the longer version, though. Well, cool-ish. Although it doesn't look like it at first glance, the M109 is quite mobile with a 405 horsepower diesel engine, 17 horsepower per ton, 56 kilometers an hour in ideal conditions. Very nice. In your matches, uh, 
well, I'm not going to go in. That's just telling you how to play it. Like, if I get the vehicle, then I'll tell you how to play it. The M109 will soon be arriving to the rank 4 of the American, British, German, Italian, and Israeli Ground Forces trees with the re release of the next major update. In the meantime, blah, 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 blah. So, it is a counter to the 2S3M. I don't know whether it will be better than the 2S3M or worse. It's definitely bigger, but I don't know if that necessarily means better. Interesting. Still in service today. Under various versions. Well, it's a cool addition, I think. It's definitely what the uh, NATO countries needed. That's for sure. Uh, I don't know. Um, it'll be. It's nice that the British and the Americans, the two countries I play most, are getting the better or less ugly versions. Because that is hideous. It's actually... <laughs> I don't even know. It looks like a pacifier with that... Um, you know, a dummy. That's a lot more palatable, I guess. So there you go. That's all we've got today. Just a little news video on the uh, M109 or M901, whichever one it is. Um, artillery tank. So there you go. Comment down below what you think. And if you like the video, do hit the like button. And of course, subscribe for more content because we are close to 1,000 subscribers. Until then, I'll catch you in the next one.